Hey guys, what's up? It's Grimmeress and welcome to your Shades of Morton quest guide for the 2007 servers. So for this quest, you're going to need two vials of water, two Terramin herbs, you're going to need an axe, logs, ashes, a tinderbox, 1000 plus coins, it's recommended to bring more though. Uh, you're going to need some food if you're a lower level player, and you're going to need to have a hammer. There's a general store there that you can buy it from, but just bring one. Um, and for an additional 13,000 coins, you'll be able to buy a Flemeteer hammer, which will speed up the quest. Also, it's recommended to have more than just um, two Terramin herbs. Uh, I'm going to be bringing four. It's also recommended to have more than just one ash. I'm going to be bringing four. And it's recommended to have more than just one log. I'm bringing four. Uh, you're going to need to defeat five Lord Shades, which are level 40. Also, the quickest way to get to Morton is to buy the Treasure Trails Teleport from the Grand Exchange. And if you have completed the In Aid of Miracle quest, you're going to be able to access the bank, which is just to the south of Morton here in Brug de Rot when you repaired it. Um, so that could be useful for you to know as well. So to start this quest, it's in Morton. And also, because this is a mini game, you need to do it with other people. So going to world 377, which is the now official world for Shades of Morton, is going to help you. That's probably where people are playing. And also joining the Shades clan chat and asking if anybody is playing. Um, might be able to help you out. I asked and some people said yes, we're, we're playing. So hopefully so. Alright, so to start this quest, go ahead and go to Morton here. And then head down south to this little shack with all the different red dots in it of drop things and search the shelf go ahead and read this diary and that will start the quest now we need to search this smashed table here just make some space and we're going to get three different herbs here. We're going to get two Terramins and a Rogue's Purse. Go ahead and use a Terramin here on the Vial of Water. And uh, make sure only to make one. And then go ahead and use your Ashes on this thing to make a Serum 207. All right, now let's run up to the General Store. Because there's a couple of people here, which is nice. And go ahead and use the Serum 207 on Remizubula in here. Ask him all these questions, basically. Say yes, I'll dispatch those dark and evil creatures. He wants us to kill five of these shades. I'll be back once I have killed five. Make sure when you kill these that you're picking up their lore remains. So once you have killed five of them and you have the five corpses or remains in your inventory, head back to the general store. And use your serum on Remizur again because he's going to be sick. And he's going to take two remains off you. Now say, can I see the building store? Go ahead and close it to that, um, talk to him again. And uh, he's inflicted, so use serum on him. And go into his general store and buy one olive oil. And then go into his builder store. Then we're going to make some room, I apologize. So just go ahead here and uh, eat up some sharks. I'm pretty sure we'll be good if we drop some of these spare logs and ashes. Just going to keep one of these on me. Same with the Terramins here. Going to drop uh, my extra uh, two that I had. Um, okay, I think I might need one more Terramin. All right, so hopefully I have enough space. Go ahead and go into the Builder store here. Yeah, he's sick. All right, so if he gets sick, use a Terramin on a vial of water here and use an Ash, and I'll make another Serum for you. Um, hopefully someone else will cure him like someone else did for me. All right, so you get five Timber Beams, five Limestone Bricks, and you will need to get um, five swamp paste per these timber slash limestone. So we have 10 of these in total. So we need to get like 50 swamp paste. Awesome. Uh, so once you have that, 
probably pick up some things if you dropped it. So you should have bought 50 swamp paste, five timber beams, and five limestone bricks. All right, so now we need to head to this building that is just to the southeast here. It has a little bit of a water symbol on it, I think that is. And talk to the Shrinkty guy. He will probably be infected, so we're going to need to use our serum on him. And then we can talk to him, and we need to ask him all of these questions that come up here. And now we need to head up all the way to this little temple here and get a thing called Sanctity, however, however you pronounce that up to 10%. So we come up to this temple here and we can repair it and then we can kill some shades to uh, get, get that up. So you see the Sanctity here as I repair and as I kill shades, uh, this will gradually increase. So we need to get that to 10%. All right, so you can see that I am now at over 10 sanctity uh, you just need 10 and once you've done that use your tinder box here on this broken fire altar and that should light it up okay it's broken um so what that means is that this temple needs to be fully repaired so i'm going to need to stick around for a while okay so the temple uh just finished being fully repaired basically um so it meant that we could light this and now once we're able to light that fire we can use our olive oil on it on the flaming altar here and get some sacred oil and then go ahead and use your sacred oil on one of these logs that you have in your inventory um, or the log you have in your inventory and you'll get a pry log and now we just need to run it south down to this little altar thing here should be right around here now what you need to do is use your pie rogs here on one of these funeral pie i don't know how to pronounce that but you guys know what i mean and then use your remains on it and then use your tinderbox on it to set it free. And you'll see it comes up and then take the bronze key rod. Now we need to head back to that house. Um, if you don't have a serum on you, just go ahead and make one again with a teramon and an ash. Um, if you didn't make one earlier like me. So just go ahead and open this door. Oops, accidentally attack this thing. Use the sacrum on him. And then use the bronze key. Talk to him. And that is quest complete. Thank you guys for watching. And until next time, the peace and chicken grease.